Welcome to Whips in the Dungeon and our continuing work on two-hand whip technique. Before we get into two-hand whip technique, somebody's going to put in the comments or write me on Felt Life and ask what my recommendation is for a single tail if someone is interested in learning two-hand technique. And I'm actually going to go against my recommendation a little bit simply because kangaroo whips take a little bit of time to make and there's only uh, X number of craftsmen in the world making quality kangaroo whips. So I have a match set of signal whips being made by Peter Jack right now, but I haven't received them. As soon as I receive them, I'll start using them in my videos. But for the meantime, we're going to do other things. But back to the question, what should be the first single tail that you try to throw two-handed. And I'm gonna suggest either the dragon tail, and I'll have a link below with a dragon tail bender that I think is good, that I recommend. Actually, I'll put two links up there. One's a little more pricey than the other, but the quality's a little better if you have the money and are willing to pay for it. But remember, one of the drawbacks or the obstacles with two-hand whip work is you need two of everything. So if I pay $190 for a dragon tail, I have to pay another $190 for the second dragon tail. Maybe that's not in my budget. Uh, if that's the case, then find a second job or find a way to make a little money on the side so you can get your second dragon tail. But that is a, a disadvantage of two hand work. But why dragon tail? Because a three or four foot dragon tail is easy to learn to throw with either hand, okay? I've just started two hand work and you can probably tell I'm better with my right hand than my left hand, but I'm adequate enough with my left hand that I could start and I could certainly practice. So whether I'm coming over my shoulder whether I'm throwing it as a bow and arrow, and I gotta get this one other, this other one tucked, uh, whether I'm doing horizontal, or whether I'm throwing the forward figure eight, even though I'm starting and just beginning, I'm already good enough that I can throw that left-handed, and I think I could throw it left-handed at someone and feather their back or their butt. If you can feather someone's back or their butt, you are ready to begin. So your journey will begin quickly with a dragon tail. If you wanna go to a whip and skip the dragon tail, I would recommend everyone start with a three foot or a four foot signal whip. The advantage of a three foot is two handed signal whip work with a three foot is gonna allow you to throw uh, inside most houses at most house parties. If you're throwing two-handed with a four foot, you need a little more space. I would not go longer than a three or four foot, and I would always start your journey with a signal whip, two-handed signal whips. Um, I'm gonna throw two-handed bull whips when we start this playlist because that's the only match set that I own currently. But shortly I will have and that's why you wanna wear eye protection and a hat. You just saw me, I got my whips tangled, even though I'm throwing a dragon tail on a signal. So we can alternate those. I can throw those at the same time, or I can alternate when they, when they cross. And I'm still working on it and practicing. But to answer the question, first whip for two-handed work, beyond a flogger would be either signal or dragon tail. 